Okay, what I've got here is the tailstock. This here is a pass-through, so no matter how tight I put this up there of pressure on the tailstock, it'll never bend the mandrel shaft. So if I've done it right and this lines up, slides right in, puts right up against that, I can lock it down, and then I can adjust my pressure with the handle. That way I can make sure this isn't spinning. There's the tailstock. Both of these are Morse taper, and the only thing that holds a Morse taper from spinning is the pressure. And so now I've got it, I turn it on, it's going to turn, I can turn it down. So if you have one of the old mandrels that has the nut on it, and you've turned it too much, and sometimes you can bend these shafts, this is the way to go because the shaft comes all the way through here, all the way through there, and what stops it is these bushings. You never have to worry about bending another shaft. It's a good idea. You might want to think about getting it. They're not real cheap, and they're not real expensive, but for me, it's just a lot easier to use.